Hey everybody, Mark here from 8-Minute Acts. Today I'm going to play you five classic songs that are famous for being performed live on the coolest guitar in rock. I'm talking about the Gibson EDS 1275 double neck. Now I'll have to make do playing Harley Benton's respectable knockoff, but I guarantee I have just as much fun playing this as Jimmy and Alex do playing their Gibsons. Before we get started, let me give you a brief history of Gibson double necks. Gibson actually made a few interesting double necks before the EDS 1275. All the way back in 1937, Gibson made the ESH-150. Not only was this Gibson's first double neck, but it was their first solid body guitar, period. It's a lap steel that allows you to quickly change between two different tunings. The guitar was only available by custom order, and only a few were produced. Gibson then debuted two different style double necks at the 1957 NAMM show in Chicago. Gibson offered a 12 and 6, the 1275, and a short scale six string guitar tuned an octave higher with a traditional six on the bottom known as the EMS 1235 or the double mandolin. In 1958, Gibson debuted the 1275 in their catalog. In 58, they also introduced the EBSF 1250, a double neck with a bass on top and a six string with fuzz tone built in on the bottom. In 1964, Gibson replaced the EBSF 1250 with the EBS 1250, dropping the fuzz tone and adding a six string bass. This guitar was produced until 1968, and Elvis Presley famously owned one. The EDS 1275 went into full production in 1963. It was also discontinued in 1968 due to poor sales. However, in 1974, Gibson reintroduced it to their catalog where it's remained in production for the last 48 years. A lot of its popularity has to be credited to Jimmy Page. Page was trying to figure out a way to best play Stairway to Heaven Live when he saw Charlie Whitney of the progressive rock band Family using the 1275 and he custom ordered one. Page's now iconic guitar made its debut in March of 1971. That brings us to our first classic double neck song, The Song Remains the Same. Not long after Page started using the EDS 1275, Steve Howe got his hands on an Alpine White 1960 model. Howe used the guitar live extensively throughout the 1970s on songs like And You and I and this classic, Starship Trooper. The next guitarist on my list is one of my personal favorites, Alex Lifeson. He got his EDS 1275 in 1976, just as Rush was starting to break big. He and Getty Lee famously sported twin double necks on live performances of this classic, Xanadu. <laughs>
Also in 1976, Styx's newly acquired guitarist Tommy Shaw picked up an EDS 1275 specifically to play this song live, Sweet Madam Blue. And last but certainly not least, another guitarist who purchased an EDS 1275 specifically to play one song was Don Felder, who purchased his in 1977 to play this classic, Hotel California. Don't forget to enter this month's Van Gogh 12 string guitar giveaway. Every month I give away a brand new Van Gogh 12 string guitar package. Details on how to enter this month's contest are in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And if you've made it this far and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Most importantly, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.